Here's a brief video tutorial to kind of demonstrate um, when you import uh, items from the Canvas Commons where they move to in the respective um, course that you select. So I'm going to I'm going to filter. I'm going to actually. Oh, actually, I'm going to let me do this first. I'm going to choose. I'm just going to type in something related to the camp, like the Canvas admins, right? So, um, so you've got like um, all of these respective icons. Let you know what it is, of course, as you know, like uh, quizzes. This is a full course, um, and then um, so forth. But I want to, Jerry, because if you you if you if you import a full course, obviously, like if I import this Canvas admin quick start. I have to make sure that I have a respective course for it to dump into. So, if, so, so typically with courses, it's always advantageous to have a full course that's empty, right? Like a sandbox or so forth. But I want to filter my search to, let's just say, I'm going to either, whether I do pages, modules, quizzes, or discussions or whatever, I'm going to filter by, let's just say quizzes. Looks like only one comes up in my filtering okay if I did pages or whatnot so when you when you select the specific item quizzes pages discussions assignments the the resource that you're importing into your course will will go into that respective area okay so if I import quizzes okay it will go into my quizzes area in canvas to the course I selected. But if I choose, for instance, and filter it by modules, the same applies, okay? If I import this module, it's gonna go into my modules area, and then all of the items inside that module will also be placed into their respective areas. So if there are assignments in the modules, like if I click on this, uh, this module here, uh, looks like there's a there's page and two quizzes. So if I import this module, the, the the entire module will go into the module section with those three items, and then each of these three items will be placed into the respective area. These two quizzes will go to quizzes. This page will go to pages. Okay. But I'm going to do just the quiz here. So I'm going to click on this quiz. I'm going to import. Now, depending on how big the big uh, how big it is. Uh, it depends on how fast it goes, right? So I'm going to import this into, i got a lot of courses. I'm going to import this just into my sandbox. I'm going to say import into course. Okay. It says you've successfully started the import. So in order for me to see if this quiz goes where it is supposed to go, of course, I'm going to look over in my sandbox and... Here we go. Okay. And then I have to go over to quizzes to find it. Okay. So, um, all right. So here it is. So it's all automatically created. Uh, an assignment category over in quizzes for this quiz okay uh, and it created a group for me called surveys now if you import an assignment for instance um, it's going to import into your assignments area but it will create automatically another imported assignments group um, so the two you know if you've got imported assignment groups already that are empty you might want to just delete those Okay, but it should automatically place into that. Um, so this, uh, I hope this video helped show you uh, where where the particular items that you import go to. Pages go to pages, quizzes go to quizzes, discussions go to discussions, assignments go to assignments, and then those specific categories or groups are automatically created when those quizzes are. Um, dumped into or imported into your course from the commons. Okay, let me know if you have any further questions.